So the big news on the t- campaign front uh, is the recount. Uh, and then the war against Mitt Romney being led by campaign manager Kellyanne Conway. Let's start with the with the recount. How serious is it? How real is it? What do you think of it? Is it a waste of time? Well, the, the, this is kind of complex because Green Party candidate Jill Stein has successfully raised money to yeah, a lot uh, of it. right a lot of it um, to pursue a recount in three. They're, they're, they want to pursue in three mm-hmm. states. And so Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, correct? Michigan, right. And, and they started in they Wisconsin s- because the deadline was uh, November they 25. They started in yeah. Wisconsin. And then over the weekend, it was uh, announced that the Clinton campaign will support the effort. They did not want start to it. start they it. Didn't start, they right. did not start it. Um, but this kind of blew up s- last week because New York Magazine was reporting that c- former Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta took a call with two computer scientists who are saying uh, somewhat separately that there is that there might be reason to believe that there was hacking involved as as we know the the federal government has accused Russia of having interfered with the election previously with the hack into the DNC email and then there was a point where you know there was the hacking of John Podesta's email as mm-hmm. well so you know perhaps there was some tampering with um the outcome of the election as well. Now, one of those scientists kind of said his interview is mischaracterized. I think they, they felt that New York Magazine really blew up the story. Um, but at the same time, there's there's a few different threads that collectively are coming together to say, you know, is there you know is there sufficient ground for a recount? Uh, are there sufficient grounds? And it seems that they certainly believe it's worthwhile to at least pursue, um, given that she has now. Hillary Clinton, um, she's now leading the popular vote by more than two million, and uh, she did lose, you know, at the end of the day, most of the battlegrounds, um, but by very narrow margins. Yeah, I don't think that this is going to change the outcome of the election. Realistically speaking, no one has credibly said there's evidence that there was any um, illicit activity or any, you know miscount of the actual ballots. Here's the question. Why not? Well, so, why not, though? You know, why, why not? Just take no. it why, why not? not? Oh, why no. not? You know that Donald... So that's the thing. You know that if, if Hillary, Donald Trump had lost the Electoral oh, College God. and was leading the popular vote by, forget 2 million, let's say even 10,000, yeah, it, it would been, be yeah. chaos. There would be people in the streets. Yeah, right. So this is... But but that raises a good question. Is, is So... I, I agree with you. I think it's worth pursuing. It, as, as Bernie said yesterday, it's no big deal in the sense that this is a legal. Uh, it, it's legally okay. You're allowed to challenge. There's a deadline, mm-hmm. and you pay for it yourself. Jill Stein's raised the money to do it, so why not go through it? I don't think it's going to change the outcome. I agree with you on that. But so why is Donald Trump so upset about this? He tweeted twelve times right. yesterday. And then his response was to accuse, he said he would have won the popular vote, right. too, except for all those illegal people yes, who voted illegally. Yes, he's illegal. falsely saying that yeah. as many as three million people yeah. illegally voted, and that's why Hillary Clinton has this lead. There's absolutely no basis for this claim. California, one of the states where he alleged this happened, has already come, you know, come out with a statement. Certainly isn't at the top. You know, they had, I think it was the Secretary of State. But they had basically, they basically said there's no... Yeah. Yeah. There's no tampering with the election here. There were no illegal votes. And uh, the Donald Trump now is the president-elect. So as was expected, this is how he responds to the slightest uh, blow to his ego where, you know, even the suggestion that maybe there's any reason to have a recount has sent him off into a tweet storm, making false claims. Um, and now is, he's not just a candidate. He is literally the president-elect. So we're in for a very, very long four years. Uh, but also, you know, he's. this is what I think everyone knew would happen. And this is why I think the Clinton campaign didn't necessarily want their, them, their name behind this at the forefront, is they made a big deal out of not just that he said he wouldn't accept the outcome of the election, that he wouldn't concede, because obviously Hillary mm-hmm. Clinton conceded. But they made a huge deal about Donald Trump suggesting that the election was rigged. So yeah. um, I think part of this is this was inevitable that his team would respond by saying, well, they were the ones who said 
how dare he say even suggest that the election is rigged you know the you know the pillar of our democracy is at stake for, for him even saying it and now they're the ones who are giving maybe some credence to the idea um although i don't you know no one again no one has said that it was rigged um I, they're being very cautious i think in the clinton yeah. campaign and just yeah. very quietly supporting this push um and again, it, Donald Trump, I mean, this is what it, you would expect from him. I mean, and then you had his campaign, um, former campaign manager now, you know, we don't know what position she'll take, Kellyanne Conway, saying, oh, well, he was been so generous to Hillary by not prosecuting her. Yeah, and I And this yeah. is how she out. responds. Yeah, as and so if, this is as just, if, this right. is just the epitome uh, of what you would expect from the right. goon squad that's on its way to D.C. Uh, thank you, yeah, for calling him that. But, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I gotta apt. tell you. Yeah, I think that's, absolutely. I, 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 I again, I don't th- the margins are so narrow, particularly in Michigan, where it's only 10,700 10, mm-hmm. votes, that it's worth pursuing. I don't think it's going to change anything. But, you know, if it did, oh my God, it yeah. would just be the latest <laughs> zigzag in an election that's been I'm, one crazy, unexpected right. zigzag after another. I just wouldn't be the, surprised. I, I think based you know on the mass, I, I it, would lost, be, it would be a fitting end to the 2016 yeah. presidential campaign. I've, I've lost the ability to be stunned. I, I just don't. I, I I don't look at anything and go like, "Oh my God, I can't believe that happened." Yeah. Eh, now, if for it to be successful, she has to. I think because of the way the math stacked up, all three states would have to have erred here. She uh, no, she, set, she, oh, she she just got just two: win. Wisconsin two. Okay, and with Pennsylvania. Two. Wisconsin, with two. Pennsylvania, with yeah. two. But Pennsylvania is a, a big gap. Seventy. That, that, 70, that was a bigger 000. gap. Yeah. Right. But so. still, like you said, a fitting. It would be a fitting end. If even one state. Was, yeah, I think it was totally. was wrong. Yeah. It would be a fitting end and raise questions about <laughs> everything. Oh, yeah. my God.